President Trump parties with his grandkids and Melania posts sent a selfie as the first family celebrates holidays at March a lago alongside Donald's ex-wife Ivana and her mother but no sign of Ivanka. It was all about family this Christmas for the Trumps, who gathered at March a lago in Palm Beach to celebrate the holidays. President Trump was spotted smiling while posing for a photo alongside granddaughter Kay and grandson Spencer on Sunday night at Christmas Eve dinner. The following day Dodd Jr. shared the picture of daughter Chloe and son Donnie enjoying time with their great-grandmother Marie Zelnikova at the private club. Marie is the mother of Donald's first wife Ivana, who is believed to be in Palm Beach as well this holiday. President Trump's third and current wife Melania also showcased her holly. Jolly moved by posting the selfie of herself in an elf hat, writing, Merry Christmas. President Trump meanwhile is making a very concerted effort to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Tweeting the phrase three times in less than 12 hours on Sunday and Monday. People are proud to be saying Merry Christmas again. I am proud to have led the charge against the assault of our cherished and beautiful phrase. Merry Christmas. He wrote at 10 p.m. on Sunday. He then wrote a simple Merry Christmas at midnight and 8 a.m. on Monday. Four of President Trump's children have been spotted in Palm Beach so far this weekend, as in addition to Dodd Jr. Eric, Tiffany and Barrett are also celebrating the holiday with their father. The only person missing is Ivanka, who stopped celebrating Christmas after converting to Judaism ahead of her 2008 wedding to Jared Kushner. She and Jared tend to take a vacation over the holiday each year heading to Hawaii in 2016 and believes the prior year. Arabella Kushner does however appear to be at March a lago, with a young girl who looked remarkably similar to Ivanka and Jared's oldest child spotted in one of Da Jr's videos playing with her cousins. Da Jr has been non-stop with them photos this holiday, posting an image of each of his five children on Saturday. Later that night he shared snacks of the family Christmas tree and the impressive dessert spread at Christmas Eve dinner. That is where he also got a snack of Kay and Spencer with their grandfather, writing, Merry Christmas everyone. Kay and Spencer are having a great Christmas Eve dinner with Grandpa. He then shared images of his children peering into their presents on Sunday, before then posting a picture of his oldest and youngest, Donnie and Chloe, with their great-grandmother. Well this is what it's supposed to be all about. Family. Here's Donnie and Chloe which their great-grandmother after the presents from this am. I become a bit of a tourist with the camera but I think one day they will appreciate my efforts," wrote Da Jr. Later, Da Jr. had the camera out again to record his children while they played with their new Christmas toys. Eric Trump and his wife Lara meanwhile have been noticeably absent from social media in the past few days, with Lara posting the photo of the beach and her son over the weekend, but nothing on the holidays. On Monday. Eric shared a photo of himself and Lara with the President and First Lady taken earlier this month at the White House Christmas party. Merry Christmas friends. Have an amazing day and thank you all for an unbelievable year. Wrote Eric. There have been no sightings of Barrett and Tiffany since they arrived at March a lago, and Tiffany has not posted on social media. This is her first holiday in Palm Beach, having gone to Georgia with Mom Marla Maples in 2016 and Idaho the prior year. President Trump released the Christmas message on Monday as well, posting a video to Twitter in which he stated, In the season of joy, we spend time with our families, we renew the bonds of love and goodwill between our citizens and most importantly we celebrate the miracle of Christmas. For Christians we remember the story of Jesus, Mary and Joseph that began more than 2,000 years ago. As the book of Isaiah tells us, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. This good news is the greatest Christmas gift of all, the reason for our joy and the true source of our hope.